I'm going to very quickly and hopefully painlessly show you how to work in a wiki. So this is an example of a wiki. When you go into it, you see that for all practical purposes, you've got a flat static web page. However, when you go to the side and you click edit, you'll get this whole toolbar. What happens is basically what's gone from a flat static web page is now a Word document that you can edit and write on, you can delete whatever you want. Let me show you just a couple quick tips so that you have the freedom and the flexibility to make this tool work for you. So you notice here you've got your bold, your italics, your underline, your strike through, and then do you want it justified to the left, center, to the right? Okay, very basic stuff. But right here, you have a couple of little icons that are definitely worth taking a look at. This first one is the insert a link. So let's say I'm working in my wiki and I want to build out a new page. Well, the first thing I would want to do is type the words for that new page. Now, let's say it's just something simple I'm working on, like my project. I simply type the words and then I highlight them. Now I go up to the chain link, insert a link, and what I'm going to get is this little pop-up box. Insert a link to a new page, link to an existing page, or link to an external website. Well, I'm creating a new page, and I'm going to call this uh, my name. All right, that way it's very easy for others to be able to know whose page it is. And then I click Insert. You see already my words are blue and they're underlined. That tells me it's a hot link. Now, this is key. Before I can do anything else, I have to save my work. If I don't save my work, it's gone, it's lost, Bye bye no more. So now I can see I have my link. Now let's say, and it'll take me right to my new page. Over on the side navigation, look, we've built a new page. Let's say, eh, you know what, that was a mistake, I didn't mean to do that. Well, I can highlight, again, I had to click edit, I highlight it, the icon next to it, unlinks it and it's gone boom let's say I wanted to link to an outside page um, something amazing so I highlight the word I want to be a hot link I click the chain now instead of linking to a new page or one that already exists I'm going to click this and I put in the address uh, bramman.edu all right I have to click insert and I have to save it. Boom. Something amazing. See how there's that little icon? It looks like an arrow or a globe. It tells me that that will take me to an outside web source. Okay. Now let's go back. There's one more thing I do want to show you. What if I want to upload a file? Something that we're working on a PowerPoint and I've started it, but I need my partner or a peer to work on it. What I can do is basically the same thing. I type the words, Kimberly's file, and I highlight them. Now, the icon next to my chain and my unchain, this little green arrow, is upload a file. So I click on that, and now basically, it's just as if I were attaching a document to an email. I browse through my computer, I select what I want to be downloadable, Come on. Da, 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 da. I select what I want my friend, my peer, my student to download. Um, let's see. Here, something fabulous. Picture of my little boy. Who wouldn't want to see a picture of my little boy? And I upload it. Yes, absolutely. Insert it. I save. And now the next person who comes to work on this wiki can download my file. Simply by clicking on it, it will download to their computer. That's it. That's the basics of working in a wiki. You click edit, you get the toolbar, and when you're done, you have to click save. If you have any problems, please ask your professor. But again, just don't let it throw you. Take the time, look at the page, edit is your best friend, and when you're done, save is your best friend. Thank you very much.